Hey, what's happening, guys? You know what? I've got so many of these incredibly cheap Chinese USB adapters. I figured it was about high time. We took a look at them, how safe they are, or whether you should replace them with something, you know, from the dollar store, something probably even cheaper. It's sad that a lot of these come with the European plug, but, you know, nobody really cares, right? Anyway, I've got what Big Clive calls the death adapter here. And a little USB pigtail. Got the meter. So we will uh, we'll hook it up. We'll check the voltage. And we'll also check current and see how she does. So give me a second to get this set up and I'll be right back. Sorry I'm going to have to go handheld here for just a second. You get to see the messier parts of my bench. But there it is. Plugged into my outlet strip, okay? And then we've got a uh, USB extension cable coming out, so. All right. Let's see the uh, open circuit voltage here. Five point five eight, and oh, it's telling me it's straight DC, but I don't believe that. All right, let's put a load on it. I can't find my uh, electronic load, so we're gonna have to improvise here. I've got a. Uh, Big old power resistor. We'll just uh, clamp that across those leads, plug it in. See what the voltage looks like then. We will keep it brief so as not to let the smoke out of anything. All right, here we go. Power. And it drops down to 4.2. So, not terribly impressive so far. But what do you expect for something that doesn't even have any weight to it? All right, let's tear it apart. Yeah. I don't feel any hidden screw holes in the case. Looks like there could be a clip right here. Or I could be entirely <laughs> wrong. It might be glued. No, there we go. There we go. Oh, high quality. No impact. Chinese quality case there. First look at the circuit board. Now before one of you fine fellows start giving me shit, because somebody inevitably always does, I'm not tearing the transformer apart and unwinding it. I'm not Big Clive. Basically we want to look at construction and separation. Okay. So we've got a discrete rectifier here with four IN4007s. Then we've got our filter capacitor over here. I wonder if I can read what that chip is. No sign of it. We've got an optocoupler, 
another two diodes here. Got a mauve here for circuit protection. Big diode over here on the output side. There's a spot for an LED, but they did not include one. I'm telling you, I'll tell you what, that is uh, not too bad. Look at that. That's a good quarter inch between the uh, high voltage and low voltage side. So that's pretty nice. We've got anti-tracking slots cut in here. I mean, there's nothing special about the circuitry. What's this claiming? Two amps. Yeah, it probably is. Probably is around two amps. Wish I could read that chip. Let me uh, see if I can figure it out. No, I'm sorry to say they have uh, they've done their job and completely demolished any markings on that chip. So there's no way we're going to be able to tell. Now the board, is, like I said, the board itself is a uh, decent condition. And it's apparently multi-purpose. You can see they've got um, spots for some different circuitry on here that they did not include with this. Where are the capacitors? Uh, cut, C-U-T. Famous Shenzhen street brand. And this purple one is SLF. So we got a... C-U-T and an S-L-F flavor of the day. How about this one here? Has it got a name? T-L-S. C-U-T, S-L-F. C-U-T. It must be, um... <laughs> oh, boy. Initials week in Shenzhen when they built these. But, yeah, anyway... Not too bad. I was expecting total crap, and we only got partial crap. But I guess the point of this video is be wary of what you're getting with these cheap Chinese products. You see, uh, let me zoom out here a little bit more. You saw how easy it was to pop this case apart. They're mostly like this. They're just clipped. You can pop them apart, pop them back together. It's worth it to spend five minutes. Pop your case apart. Check for anti-tracking slots. Check for separation between the high voltage and low voltage. Just use your eyes and your common sense. And if it looks untrustworthy, then don't trust it. You're better off going and buying a cheap one from Walmart than risking burning your house down. Just a thought. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.